Hello and herzlich willkommen. Wir Hi and a very warm welcome. We're happy that so many people are here who want to listen to us present to you the way in which Northern Westphalia, a good travel destination, is telling multimedia stories. Before we start, though, we'd like to tell you something about ourselves. We are Isa Maria Stommen, Head of Digital Strategy, Julie Sengelhoff, who is our press spokeswoman and who is responsible for social media. And I'm Julia Dahmen. I'm in charge of media production and brand maintenance. We, well, where do we come from? So, the presentation seems to be stuck a bit. So, we come from Tourism North Rhine Westphalia, NRW for short. That is the Regional Marketing Association for the Federal State of North Rhine Westphalia. And we are, of course, a registered association, which means we are one of those rare birds in tourism, which is a publicly funded organization. And uh, our marketing, um, our communication is doing like this. Some of you may know that. This is our B2C communication, which is run under this brand North Rhine West failure. Um, behind the brand stands Tourism NRW, as I've explained. And uh, at the end of 2016, Julie, Elisa, and I had this sudden idea where we thought, how can we redo our communication to the answer world in B2C? How can we do it differently, fresher, as we've done it before? So we just got going without knowing where to go. We got the backing of our management and of the whole team. and. As we see, without any special budget, without any time allotted to us, without anything, really, we started working on that idea. And Julie is now going to tell you how we got going. So um, I'm also very pleased that you're there. I would now like to tell you very briefly what the uh, genesis of our campaign is, where we come from and, and why we started. The whole thing really started from an idée fixe, where we wanted to do something new. And we knew that we wanted to tell new stories about North and Australia, move away from how it was done in the past. So we started to develop um, a sort of play set up. We worked together with a lot of courage and enthusiasm for something new, which was still faceless. And then we, we ran a social media workshop, quite irrespective of the idea of a, of a campaign. And we left that workshop with our eyes wide open and even more convinced that we really had to develop something new in communication. So we wanted to have a workshop with the whole team. We were quite creative. We had 35 people involved and spent the whole day brainstorming, thinking, what is it that's typical for North Rhine Australia? What are the stories we can tell? What is an important issue for us? What message do we want to get across? So slowly, we began to realize we wanted to tell a story about people. You may be aware of that once or twice, but people is really what the state of North Rhine Westphalia stands for and what makes this area so special. And then we decided on campaign values, which basically meant we defined our DNA, and we worked on the communication and content strategy. So it got to be a wonderful way in which we got it all together, starting from, from a sudden idea and coming to the emergence of something new. What is quite important when we're looking at communication is that our idea is to have 360-degree communication. In other words, we're going all around using all our channels where we distribute our campaign content, starting from a newsletter down to press work, from a computer magazine to tweets on Twitter. So we are quite consistent, and we are playing the campaign content and the stories that we will show you every time specific to whichever channel, of course, we're using. Now, and all of this uh, was also a challenge because uh, we wanted to create a new way of telling stories for our portal. 
with a workshop. The idea was how to find a digital concept for these new ideas. How, how can we get that across to the world in a digital format? So the first and foremost objective was that the stories we wanted to tell had to be harmonious, but to stand out for the rest of the portal as well, but firmly anchored in Northern Westphalia. And the second important point, we wanted to do this with our own tools. In other words, to implement this with our technical structures, so outreach portal, technical link up with a portal, not to be dependent on any third party suppliers. So in Germany, we discussed how we could breathe life into it, how we could implement it. So we looked into objectives. We saw how we can set this apart from the rest of the content strategy, how we could develop new ideas. But a lot happened in parallel, and we had a more than tight schedule because we developed the hashtag, did a briefing with photographers, did the whole claim. Julia and Julie went to the first protagonist in December and uh, edited the stories, did the photographs. And in January, we already did mock ups and dummies with the content so that in February we could start it, uh, we could start having the editorial presentation prepared. So that was test and content development all at the same time so that at the end of February for the new National Geographic we could go online. And two weeks later, ITB was started. So we introduced the campaign with the first stories and uh, it all developed from there. And it, it was a strategic underpinning, of course, but uh, what really matters is the heart of the campaign, the people behind it all. Exactly, as Julie and Elisa have just said, what was new for us is that for the first time, we wanted to start our communication with people and to really um, direct everything uh, at the stories that these people have to tell. What was important for us is that they really stand for North and Westphalia, that they're unique, that they're special for NRW, that they stand for the area, also in the way they tell their narration. We got four of the eight, which we would like to focus on. Our second protagonist, January last year, was Mathieu Savé, a young modern woman, who at first glance, when you just see her, doesn't uh, look as if she actually exercises one of the last oldest jobs in in Europe. She um, watches the tower in St. Lambertus Church, watching over the city and making sure it doesn't, there is no fire anywhere. Then we have two other protagonists, Gottfried and Peter Boom from Cologne, members of an architect dynasty, architects uh, throughout, from great-grandfather to great-grandson. They're all architects doing a lot within NRW, but also beyond. So quite exciting people. Then a very special protagonist from Rhein Elft, that is Count Severin of Honsburg. He owns an old, rather dilapidated um, mansion, as you can see, but he's also um, a farmer and has great plans as what to do with this. And we hope that one day it will become a tourist destination. One of our favorite protagonists is also from Cologne, that's Timo. Timo is a so-called Kobus. In other words, he works at a brewery, traditional one in Cologne, but he's also a rally driver and a Harley fan. And uh, he has a little um, snack bar selling special clone things. So that was my little overview about the first four protagonists. Right, so when we're bringing strategy and people together, we're almost done. So by now, eight of the stories are live on the website. Um, we've also done a lot in the print media and social media to give you an overview as to how we have, uh, are we processing this for the website, for the online world. Of course, we said at the beginning, it's, it's cl classical storytelling. So in other words, we have large text, uh, image, uh, text and content. We've created the technical. Uh, background, so we could a special UNESCO panorama of North Westphalia into it, and we've also produced little videos just in order to round off the stories. These are all videos that fit what the protagonists are doing. That was the brewery. We also uh, tie in um, outstanding statements of our people in order to make everything flesh it all out, and you can. Uh, control it on the website. There's a navigation bar on the right hand side which allows you to skip through content you don't like. And our 
protagonists have the um, personal thesis uh, across the website and the click um, rates tell us that it's really working well because of the way we combine content and, and the story. And as far as the editing side is concerned, we ask every one of our, the characters uh, three questions as to his and her favorite places. So that gets us into tourism and the interface to tourism destination, uh, restaurant uh, advice, and so on. But at the forefront is, is an individual with his or her um, life, career, and so on, his or her story. And the tourism is tagged on. We also do traditional online marketing. We sent out a new newsletter, especially, which we concepted for that. And we're looking at, at the outreach of that one. And the, the number of hits really brought home to us how our user, users are, have uh, taken this on board. And of course, uh, this is linked into you can order a brochure. And NRW magazine has proved to um, sell much better as a result. We don't just see this in a new way. We have our main print media, the NRW magazine, which has been completely reissued. In other words, we have managed to convince the board of management that in, in our W magazine, we could also, on the cover, have our people, our stories. And as Julie said, for 360 degree communication, that was necessary. At the beginning, people were a bit skeptical about it. Instead of having the, the typical sort of farmer or tourism destination, uh, but at the first, uh, the cover was nothing to do with tourism at first glance at any rate. But we did provide room in the magazine to tell the stories of these uh, protagonists. That's quite important. Uh, if somebody is uh, in, in another channel, on, online the story is different to the printed uh, story. Somebody who sees that in print and goes online won't see exactly the same story. Here again, the content has been pressed in such a way that it always focuses on the individual and his or her stories. And we also uh, put in tourism destinations uh, so that people can see that they can go to North Rhine Westphalia. It was also very nice to see that it, was, it wasn't just we who were using these protagonists, uh, but also Gluck magazine. For example, they have uh, 500,000 copies per edition, and they approached us, and they use our campaigns, our protagonists, and these stories. Um, Cologne Express, one of the uh, main regional newspapers, did the same. Yeah, and I'd like to go back to social media. As uh, we said, we, we really run this campaign on all sorts of different channels, and social media is one important area, which means primarily Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, where the content of this campaign can be shared. And we try to use the uh, particulars of each and every one of these channels in the interest of our communication. And Instagram, for example, obviously we work on the basis of 24-hour live content, the lovely stories. And last year at ITB, we did a, a story which we announced. That was just when the first stories went live. And if you feel like it, you can go to our NRW account and uh, see the new stories, because we show something new today as well. And so we, we really accompany the campaign on all channels. And we can really say that for the website, social media has become a very, very important uh, traffic generator. And it has helped us to increase and extend our reach. And now hopefully we will continue. Yes, we are. So very briefly regarding social media, before I go into facts and figures, we have a very small budget particularly as far as sponsored uh, posts or, or ads and Facebook is concerned, we've got a lower three-digit uh, number of uh, funds, if I may call that. So I think the figures make very clear that um, actually, organically, we're doing really well if our reach is now 750,000 across the social media channels. So far, 25,000 interactions have been generated in the media. That again confirms we're on the right track. And we have a pretty good um, Add network online as well as offline, so that that's that's really good. High density and um, higher than average um, time people spend on our website. So you can see the original idea fix, which we talked about, um, which we had, has really been cast into a very concrete shape, and it's something that can be shown. Yeah, and as I said facts and figures. Well, we've learned quite a bit about that. Obviously, classical even tracking was used. And uh, 
looking at uh, scroll depth, um, the time people spend here, it's all been very, very good, more than 90% scroll depth. And people spend about six minutes on average with a story, sometimes even 50 minutes, depending on the story. So the content is literally being consumed. And when we're looking at the clicks on other content, we see that the users actually navigate their way through this. So it's proved to be a very important module in the overall content strategy. Social media is 25%, so that's the main entry level uh, for people because the story is really work well. 60% of the users um, use mobile devices, mobile channels. We also increased reach um, outside NRW. So in other words, we've been able to use these people uh, to um, advertise NRW as a travel destination in a new way. And something else we hadn't really on our radar screen, which just happened, that's the many modules that we built can actually be used for secondary purposes as well, for different types of content on the website, where we can now put content plus videos, plus panorama photographs, and so on. That's shown to be a secondary value, which is very good. Also helps the, the rest of the brand last year, for example, Timo Kubis could uh, you be used for the beer campaign as a hero motif. So we noticed that you know it really works together, looking at, at reach hits and so on. We noticed that was absolutely the right approach. If you have that sort of story, to really link that up with more content. But apart from all these hard facts and uh, the lot of work we put into this, there were soft factors that were very important. Perseverance, staying, staying power, that was perhaps the driver of our success. Yes, it was the good ideas that we had. We were convinced of our ideas. We um, elevated them up to the management and everybody else. And even though many people didn't know what to do, we didn't know where we would end up. But um, we, we, we looked around. We got a lot of information on what things might look like. But we just stuck with it. And perhaps that's one of the biggest lessons we learned. If you've got an idea, you really stick with it. You persevere. You create acceptance both within and outside, of course. And we're extraordinarily happy that our whole region has given us so many uh, suggestions for the protagonist to showcase, because otherwise we wouldn't have found half the number of really great people to showcase. And another thing that really matters is that such a campaign doesn't uh, peter out, but we stick with it and we keep the DNA alive. So there is a sort of certain thread that we always follow. Uh, people make a suggestion where we say, mm, that doesn't really fit into it, or that doesn't match the values that we have in our campaign. And uh, as a last thought, our wishes, what we've learned is we need more time, more money, more everything, of course. But certainly, um, as Julia said at the beginning, we started without a special budget for this process, but with curiosity, enthusiasm, we uh, stayed the course and we will continue to do so. Talking about staying the course, I mentioned that briefly. Check the social media channels, check online, go to our uh, store as well, because we have a booth here where you can find from today Marian Strelo from Dusseldorf, a fashion designer, our new face, our new protagonist. That's gone online today. It's telling a wonderful story of a woman living in Dusseldorf, living and working in her fashion studio. And anybody who likes it, let her take you on a very unusual guided tour of Dusseldorf, very much behind the scene of the industry. So we are caught and invited to click your way through it, get enthusiastic about NRW and Dusseldorf. Thank you.